Okay. So I might get a little hate for this, but th I'm, I'm just going to warn you. This is my opinion. You don't have to agree with my opinion. Okay. So the Boondock Saints. It's one of the biggest cult uh, favorites ever. You know, like the critics didn't like it, but you know, a lot, whole lot of people liked it. Even my friends. But I'm just gonna, I'm gonna straight say it straight out. I did not like this movie. I really did not like this movie. And I'm actually a little surprised because this is a crime film, and I usually love crime films. I love crime fiction. This one I absolutely hated. I. I don't want to sound like a, a ranter. I don't want to sound like one of those guys from that guy with the glasses, but um, I have my reasons for hating this, and um, I'm going to take it uh, one step at a time. So this movie is, um, the whole plot of this movie is we have two brothers who get a vision from God. I mean, like it, they, they say it's God, but in the movie, it just seems like they had a bad nightmare. It. It really does. Like they wake up in in their in their beds and they're just like, uh oh. and they don't really say it's God. They imply it it's God, but it just uh, to me it didn't really look convincing. But anyways, um, so they get they believe that they're sent from God to be vigilantes, um, and they start you know killing people. And uh, while they're doing this, we have, um, there's an FBI agent chasing them who's played by, uh, the guy from, the guy who played Green Goblin. Uh, oh, Willem Dafoe. So Willem Dafoe is chasing them, and while he, they're, while, uh, he's chasing them, Willem Dafoe's, like, thinking, uh, should I be chasing them? I mean, they're killing criminals, and that, that, and that becomes, like, the, the core theme, like, is vigil vigilanteism good or bad? And yeah, that's the that's the basic plot of the movie. Now, I'm gonna break it down to why I don't like it. And once again, you do not have to agree with my opinion. The one number one thing I do not like about this movie is the fact that it just comes off as really really corny. And the reason why I think it's so corny is because it's just Every scene looks like the guy there every scene every scene looks like the director tried to go for the cool why well, can we make it this the coolest as possible and the what I mean by this is um, one scene I remember in particular was they were at like a mafia meeting well the brother the, the brothers were in like a ventilation shafts overhearing a mafia meeting and they were attached to rope okay so the ceiling breaks and they fall like upside down. They're like hanging by the rope upside down and while they're spinning they take out their silenced pistols and start shooting uh, and killing the mafia dudes. And it's done like the slow-mo. They're trying to act all cool and it's just, it just feels corny. I mean, and part of this I'm, I'm blaming is because of how the characters were developed because you could, un I could understand how a character could act all badass if he's if they're like built up right like usually they do this thing where the character is kind of quiet like you don't ex like he's not he doesn't start off all badass like he's more reserved until until the bad guys come in and then he's he slips into bad guy mode I mean action guy mode this movie they just come off as like they they're just like the arguing with each other they're like um they're they're like joking around they're they're playing around with their guns they just come off as unprofessional like they come they just come off as they instead of badasses they come off as guys who picked up a gun and like for the very first time and said i'm gonna go kill some people it's like he just it just this they just don't come off as like heroic they just come off as crazy people with guns and i think that's part of the reason why it just comes off as Maybe not corny, but it just comes off as, um, what's a good word? It just comes off as stupid, I, I guess. Like, another scene, they were, um, I think it was a strip club, where it, there was, like, they were surrounded by mirrors, and they were just, like, doing these, like, poses, like, let's go in a pose and start shooting things, and, like, the, they had the, the third guy, 
um, who looked like some homeless guy. He he did this thing where he crossed his hands and he started shooting. It's like, it just, it's just stupid. Uh, but, you know, maybe maybe you like that kind of stuff. You know, I can see the appeal in that. Uh, but there are other reasons why I don't really like this movie. Once again, you don't have, you don't have to agree. Um, so, another thing I didn't really like in this movie was the whole... Um, no, there's two more things, but one of them is the how the movie's structured. And the, the movie structured in a way like the saints would um, break into this building or they would um, go to this place to do a hit. Then it would cut there, like right before they do it. Then we cut to the FBI agent, uh, Will Defoe, and he's reconstructing the crime scene. And while he's doing that, we cut to flashbacks of the Boondock Saints actually doing the killing. Uh, every time they do this, every time, um, Will Defoe's character is doing some weird, like weird crap. There's a there's a comedy routine going on where one of the agents is actually is kind of dumb, and the joke there actually is. At one at one point, the the dumb agent actually correctly guesses what had happened at a scene. Like he said, "What? I think there was a guy with six guns at the scene." And you know, it sounds ridiculous, but that's the truth. But anyway, so I'm, that's a different story. Um, it I don't really like how it's structured because it's just kind of jarring. Like. When you cut off a scene, like you're expecting, oh, the guns are they're about to shoot all these guns are gonna be amazing, cut, and then, and then it it's it's like if you took an action scene from a movie and then you cut it off into bits where you have a character talking, then we come back to the action and talking and come back to action, and that does happen in action movies, but in this movie it's just it's just it doesn't flow well for some uh, to me it just did not flow well and also the whenever they since Willem Dafoe's character is kind of crazy um every time they come back to Willem Dafoe he's doing I, I mentioned he's doing some weird stuff the weirdest thing he did was um they had just did this hit at uh, at the suburbs or something and this old guy with six guns comes out and he starts shooting and while he's doing that you know it's cutting back to the fu to the present time where Willem Dafoe's recreating the scene, and Willem Dafoe's character actually pulls out a gun, and he starts shooting in the air. Yeah, like, like that's the climax of, uh, like, um, Willem Dafoe said, there was a shootout, a, a firefight, whatever, and, that was, now that I think about it, that was pretty stupid. Anyways, um, so, there's one more thing about this movie. Um, this is the last thing. I think this is the last criticism I have. Um, I didn't really like the characters. There was not a really, there was not really a, a single likable character in this movie, except maybe Rocco, and it's because, I yeah, you know, actually I didn't really like Rocco either. But, um, anyways, um, the reason why you don't really like the characters is because every character just comes off as unlikable douchebag especially the saints the saints i don't understand their appeal at all like i don't i really don't understand why people look at them and say hey they're badasses because you know instead of just instead of looking like you know heroic dudes or dudes who who just like you know an action hero type kind of dude they just look like they just came off as like dudes who crazy dudes with guns yeah and Every other character is uh, annoying. Willem Dafoe, Willem Dafoe tried his best, but he he, he still also came off as annoying. Um, and what else? I think that's about it. I mean, there's nothing really else to talk about. Some of the positive things I can talk about. Um, I can talk. Um, some of the positive positive things. Uh, well. It was at least dark and edgy. I mean, like, you know, I didn't like this movie, but as a crime movie, it was dark. So I guess it counts for something. 
And the shootout scenes were not that bad either, so, you know, it's not... This movie's not a total mess, but... Uh, I just... I think it's really overrated. It's not the worst film I've ever seen, but it's down there. It, I think it, it really is one of the most overrated movies I've ever seen. You know, post your comments. Like, I won't... I'll ex... You know what? Go ahead, criticize me. Like, um... I like to hear, I like to read other people's comment, uh, opinions, and so, yeah, that's, that's my opinion of Boondock Saints, I, not a very good movie.